in this video i am going to discuss about the interview questions for the students who are going to submit their application student application to the embassy of, of finland yes uh, sometimes uh, embassy of finland they ask different kind of questions to the students or uh, to the spouse or dependents so guys let's check those questions today <music> So guys if you don't know me this is Mafuzul Hawk I live in Finland so in my YouTube channel you will get information related to Finland and related to study in Finland so guys if my video helps you please consider thumbs up on my channel and consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can get the updated videos in your YouTube home so guys now I will tell you those questions you should be prepared for your interview in the embassy of uh, Finland yes for this video I ask few students who already faced the interview from the embassy of Finland and I ask them what kind of questions uh, they got uh, from the interview and uh, if a new student go to the interview what should they prepare for the interview okay so I will uh, tell those uh, things or those questions so you can uh, prepare for yourself before you go to the embassy of Finland yes sometimes it is possible that embassy of Finland or Finnish embassy they don't ask you any kind of questions or they don't uh, require any interview so they just take your documents and that's it that's your interview but sometimes Finnish embassy uh, they will provide you a document or a paper uh, and they will ask different kind of uh, questions from you from your sponsor and uh, from your university so uh, I will now tell those things uh, that you should be prepared so before I tell you the interview questions I would uh, like to uh, suggest you uh, one thing that uh, when you are uh, going to submit your application to the VFS Global or Embassy of Finland you should take all the original copies of your uh, documents that you have uploaded to enter Finland portal and you should also take two set of photocopies of those original copies and you should take your photo two copies of photo and uh, and yes uh, you should have a valid visa if you are traveling to another country okay so this you should remember to take with you so guys now let's talk about the interview question yes uh, first of all of course they will ask about your personal questions that uh, where are you from and uh, where did you graduate and what was your graduation degree program and uh, why you want to study in Finland uh, or what is the name of your institute in Finland and where this university is located how did you find the information about this university did you apply to that university by a educational agency or by yourself okay uh, do you have your offer letter with you and uh, how much tuition fees do you need to pay for the university do you have any kind of uh, scholarship in your university and how many percent of scholarship you should have all those information in your mind so you don't forget anything and uh, how many years is your degree program uh, and uh, uh, how do you uh, how do you pay your tuition fees how much you have already paid your tuition fees and how much you are going to pay later and then prepare to get questions about your sponsor okay so who is your sponsor why is he sponsoring you and uh, what is your sponsor's job or business how he earn money and how much he earned every month or every year and be prepared if your sponsors has less uh, earning so they could ask you questions like uh, uh, if your sponsors has less earning how he is going to sponsor you or how he is going to support you uh, in your uh, whole educational time okay so be prepared for these questions then be prepared for these questions you cannot answer these questions if you are not prepared okay this will come from your bank statement yes so you have a bank statement and they will ask that uh, what is the amount you have in your 
uh, bank account okay so you need to memorize how much money you have in your bank account okay so you know that uh, you need to have 6720 euros in your account for one year living cost but sometimes you could have more money in your account it could be 7000 it could be 8000 so you need to memorize how much money you have in your account and you need to memorize some other statements that uh, if you have a big uh, transaction in your account like you have three to four big transaction like 2000 euro 2000 euro or 2000 euro so they could ask you uh, for example uh, you need to write those big amount of uh, transaction uh, how much money was the transaction and who send you those money and why uh, he has transferred what is the name of the bank you have deposited your money and what is the name of the bank that your sponsor is using you should know the name of the bank and uh, remember uh, to know if you have any bigger transaction in your account you should know who has transferred those money you should know the amount okay so uh, these are the questions that you should be prepared from your bank statement what is the last transaction you made and if you are a spouse or a dependent and you are going to apply for residence permit for Finland uh, with the applicant so you should also prepare uh, some questions so they could ask you that uh, what is the relation between you and to the applicant and if you are a married couple when did you married how do you know each other and how long are you married so do you want to stay in Finland for longer time or uh, what happens if your spouse who is going to study he has completed his study or her study what you gonna do are you going to come back to Bangladesh or are you going to live in Finland permanently so you should be prepared this kind of questions okay and at last for the applicant or for the students I would like to say yes if you have a study gap you should be prepared to get any questions about a study gap for example they could ask you uh, you have five years or two years or ten years study gap why do you want to study again so you should be prepared for these questions and uh, in Finland study gap is not a matter you can study any age uh, in Finland but you should be prepared to answer why you want to study again okay so guys these are the questions you should be prepared uh, when you are going to submit your application to the embassy of finland and if you have any questions please uh, comment under my video if you didn't buy your student health insurance you can buy using the link i am giving in the video description yes and uh, if you like my video please thumbs up on my video and uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so guys see you on my next video have a nice day take care and bye bye